Why, howdy, kids. I just got back from fixing a fence again. Someone insists on getting out of her pasture. Moo! Yeah, I'm talking about you, Maybelle. Don't you be giving me that look. No, ma'am. You ain't getting away with it this time. Cousin Elmer was plowing, and he done seen you trying to get into his pasture. Sorry about that, kids. Maybelle thinks the pasture's always greener on the other side of the fence, but it ain't. No! What she don't know about Cousin Elmer is, he don't know Jesus yet. Why, he's meaner than I was before I came to the Lord. I tried cheering Jesus with him once, but he done got mad as a hornet. Chased me down the lane with a horse whip, he did. No, sir, don't trust that old Elmer. No saying what he might do to Maybelle. Why, that'd just break my heart if something happened to her. Moo. Yeah, Maybelle, you might be dumber than a lost sheep, but you know I love you. Speaking about lost sheep, why do you think Yeshua Jesus talked about leaving the 99 to go after the one there in Matthew 18, 12? Because there's always that one that strays, that's why. Thinking the grass is greener on the other side, for they know it, they're lost and in trouble and got to be rescued. Grass ain't greener on the other side, kids. Why, the only pasture you need to be in is the good Lord's. That's why King David said in the 23rd Psalm, the Lord's my shepherd. He leads us beside still waters, makes us lie down in his green pastures, and restores our souls. Only he can fill your soul and fill that emptiness inside you. Why? Because there ain't nothing else. That's why. Only him. Don't go look into the world, kids. They ain't got nothing. All they can offer is pain and sorrow and a lot of heartache. That's all they got. If you feel that long and deep down in your heart, and there's this emptiness inside of you, call on the Lord. Call on him. Well, it's nearly milking time. You better come along, Maybelle. Maybelle, you be careful. No. Just because you've seen it on the YouTubes, don't mean you got to try it at home, Maybelle. Oh, dear Lord, what am I to do with this cow that thou hast given me? Hi, boys and girls. Isn't it exciting to know that God's got your back? He's looking out for you. Why, he's the good shepherd, and he cares for us and loves us so much, and he promises that he will never, ever leave us or forsake us. It says so right there in Hebrews 13, 5, to be content with what you have, because the Lord will never leave us or forsake us. He is our provider. So anything you ever need in life, boys and girls, you go to him because the world has nothing to offer. Yeshua is our provider and he's our good shepherd and he loves us. So let's praise the Lord together. One, two, three. Praise the Lord! Woo! Wee! <laughs> I love you, boys and girls. God bless.